Well, we've done the drawing for this now, as you've just seen, and uh, I'm ready to make a start on another little, not a cafe scene this time, exterior um, cafe perhaps in, in a park here, which I thought was quite fun. I want to push the colours a bit more to make it a bit more joyful and sunlit, um, but I think it has potential, so I'm going to try this one. Uh, whilst I've just finished doing that landscape and that one with myself and Holly Dog, I thought it would be nice to continue through with the outdoor theme before I come back to street scenes again. Let's be working into this one then, straight away with a large brush, my big one inch flat, and uh, to work these darks in immediately. A bit of water into the paint, nothing much, direct colour, a bit of black straight away. I don't want to hurt a bit really dark here. I'm just going to put in some of these darks and then go back to all of the flesh tones before I work the greens around them because I really want to feel these, know where these colours are as well as um, enhance them. So I don't see much point in chatting anymore, I'm just going to um, run this, paint this and run it as, as I go along and uh, we might speed it up a bit because I don't want you getting too bored with watching and waiting. Whack in these base colours, put the lighter ones over the top in a minute, just want to get my basics on. I'll put a thin, where I want a lighter colour, I'm just going to put a thin wash on just to glow through and I know where, where things are then rather than uh, losing them completely. So I'm having heavy impasto colour where I know what's going to be happening and uh, I'll go on a bit lighter in other places. These probably browns and darks and other colours into here. This is really going to go on to in a minute. We'll get some of these darks sorted out and I'll come back in with the, some of the flesh tones of the, the faces and it's just, just so that I know where I am because I will get a bit lost otherwise. Talking of darks while I'm at them, I may as well work on the heads of these people too. Hey, I had to give this a sort of wash of colour as well and find some of these beautiful lights and because I've got a lovely patchwork of colour here with this with these um, turquoises and so I've painted them in quite thick at the beginning here and I want to really get this underpaint, underpainting there here. Pick up the other colours into here. The greens and reflected light. Mix the colours actually on the canvas in places here. And just bring some water over so that I know where things are but I just covered the canvas at least. Painting in, and then we can really start to work on blocks of colour in much better and more correct shapes. I don't I just need to lose this bio white everywhere, mid greys and blue greys, and so on, just to see one colour against another again. So I'm a bit lost at the minute with all of this. You can see how I can lather up these lovely colours. Building the mediums over the darks, which we can do with acrylics, we can't do it with watercolours of course. I get all of these lovely tones in and 
pipe in there. Concentrate then on the proper colours over the top afterwards. So you can get the tones worked out first. So you need to work on to lose these lights. Alright, so we're about ready to start slapping colour into that another day. Let's go back to our leaves into this now. I should have got it running. Nice heavy paint again and we'll really start to build up these lovely textures and colours coming in through here, the lights over darks and a bit of dry brushwork stumbling and nice big slabs of, of heavy, heavy body colour. Enjoying myself doing this sort of painting, building up my darks towards my lights. Don't be afraid to slap the paint on and let the brush just drag it across to give the effects and textures as well. We've got a nice mottled effect, which is what I was after. This mottled sunshine going on. Once you put it on your brush, if you see it somewhere else, there and get back in with it and. Uh, I really do think that's enough today. Right, in between um, showing you how we can tint a frame and make up a reasonably priced frame, um, let's go back to painting this uh, quite fun outside park scene, cafe park, park cafe. And I want to work up my, my next colours now and gradually get more detail as I go along. So, brushes now. Um, I'm trying to keep my flaps at the moment. Come down to a half inch, I reckon, now. A bit of water, and off we go again. And uh, what's going to be our next colours? Well, uh, we can start on a bit more of these figures and places, possibly. We'll start to get these warms going a bit more. I just want to keep basic shapes, I don't want to get too too much into detail at this stage. Just using this mix of magenta, light magenta and uh, a little bit of blue to soften it. So let's start to look now again more at the background here. I'm going to make some magenta blue mix with a little bit of green coming into it now and we'll just Start to look at some of these blue greys that are happening a bit more in the back here. They're a little bit lighter perhaps. Keeping to just abstract shapes and slabs of colour. So we're painting lights around darks as well as darks into lights to get the feeling of this. Chest here, a woman coming down through there. Wherever these lights are, it's on your brush. So once you've got it on your brush, if you see it somewhere else, in you go with it, put it in there. Those light colours come right through there. And down into the table here even as well, on top of our head. And those couple of marks there are going to indicate a figure soon. In the same way as the face of the one here. Just the edge of the brush, we're using these flats or filberts, we can turn them sideways to get a, a thinner line or just get an indication of something. Wherever they are, even if they're coming back up here into the sky. In places. Just dragging us across some of those lovely textures that I made earlier. Um, that blue Peter um, with the thicker paint. You start to see figures appearing in the background now with an arm up and a cup of tea or a bit of silver or something just shining here, that hand. So the second coat, we've already put one bit of light on there, now I'm coming back in with a bit more. You see a hand suddenly appears there now. And the whole thing starts to pull together gradually, working lighter and lighter and lighter with these bits of sunlight gleaming through in the background. What green there is into things. 
And this green from the trees is reflecting across so much. But you're having fun watching this now, thinking, wow, look that green is shining, and where's it coming from? It's all coming from the trees, it's all being reflected. And look how that light is now, that green is bringing everything to life. The feeling of a glass there now without even painting the glass. Because if the right marks are there, then hopefully... shapes will make things appear to be what they are. I don't have a fine brush yet, I'm still working with my quite large half inch. Once you start to get the really bright and strong colours in then this is going to really sing. But at the moment, not quite there yet. And heavier and heavier paint as well, you'll notice I'm making this paint thicker and thicker as I'm going along. Cool greens happening in here yet too that I haven't really explored, not really. I'm just beginning to bring in some of these more turquoise greens now. Look, look at the difference they make because I'm going to play against the, the warmer greens. We have to start to look for some warmer yellows and creams as well. Start the sunlight happening through these leaves, which we haven't got yet. Like this, for instance, these beautiful bright bits of sunlight that are shining down through there. And look how that really does start to bring everything out, eh? And much, much more sun. With these warmer yellows, which are now going to pick out the cooler. You can see why I chose this picture now, it had a lovely light to it, which I'm now just finding. Even if I can't be there at the moment myself, enjoying these things, I can make them come to life with paint, and those feelings and emotions come to life here. And we can make the marks smaller or larger, and we'll map more about it as we wish. then wherever they are we come back with them. So if they are across, again I'm going to have to go to a smaller brush, I'm trying to, you know, trying to avoid it all this time and I'm going to have to come to a smaller brush and I can see that. For the moment I just can't stop myself from painting. I'm enjoying it so much that I've got to just keep doing this, whipping these colours in, slapping them in if you like. Let's go back to the cool colours again. I'm going to take some um, Cerulean to go with that and just bring some of these very very light blues out again back into here which are a bit lost because the cool colours, the cool blues have disappeared a bit. But, you know it's hard to know how much to tighten up on this because I'm enjoying it so much as it is that uh, I don't really want to go down to a smaller brush even and particularly work in much much finer into this. So I'm going to let that dry off at that for the moment and come back in with a few more details a bit later on. Full of light and taking a quite mediocre or pleasant picture and taking it that few stages further into being a painting. And I'm going to take a smaller brush just at the end here, just pick up some darks pick up some of these um, just need to pick up some of these table legs and, and do we need much more detail because it's just so refreshing just to have this impression of things rather than and this is about a painting this is this is not a photograph this is making about light and space and all the things that are in a painting, not in a, I'm not trying to pick out the details of a photograph or so on. This time, anyway, who knows next time. 
I'm just a little bit concerned about that line there. I'd like to soften that slightly with a little bit of turquoise. It's just a bit too harsh. Those lines a bit too harsh just there. Nice and loosely. How about that then? Is that a bit of fun? Let's loosen this up. Let's get into the next ones now. Well, there we are, the first of the new cafe scenes, new series. And we'll, as loosely, I think, into the next ones, working with sponge rolls and brushes. Give this a coat of varnish, see how it looks. And then we'll get back to showing you about that frame I was doing earlier. Thank you.